Meantime, let's bring in Republican presidential candidate Vivek Ramaswamy. Uh, Vivek, it's always great to have you on. I mean, this whole idea of the Facebook file showing us the government was actually censoring the truth. Censoring the truth as if we can't handle the truth or as if their truth is the only truth. What do you think about that? Well, look, I think this is the predominant form of censorship we've seen in the last several years, Trace. The government is using private companies like Facebook to do through the back door what government could not do directly through the front door under the Constitution, censor politically disfavored speech. The reality in this country is that the path to truth, it runs through free speech and open debate. That is why we have a First Amendment. I do not think we would have run into those and rushed into those vaccine mandates as quickly if we had been allowed to debate the facts in the open. So I think this is a good learning. And the problem with our mistakes in our history is if we don't learn from them, we commit far worse in the future. At least let this be a learning that the next time we run into a supposed emergency circumstance, be it a pandemic or anything else, free speech and open debate is the thing we have to protect the most. That's the path to truth. Yeah, you talk about free speech and open debate. I know you were in Nashville today. You were trying to force them to release the manifesto of the yes. Covenant school shooter. Uh, we haven't gotten anywhere on that. Why are they withholding this, Vivek? The answer is, I don't know, and we don't know, Trace. And that's what erodes public trust in government, in our institutions. We live in a moment where the government's muscle memory is automatically to hide, to sweep under the rug whatever happened to Hunter Biden or the laptop story or the bribes, whatever happened to the origin of Mm COVID-19, whatever happened now in the reality of what that shooter's manifesto was. There's a longstanding tradition in this country to release the manifesto of a mass shooter when it's recovered. And yet in this particular case, I think in part because that shooter was indeed transgender, Mm -hmm. There was a systematic effort, which has so far succeeded, to keep that suppressed. Part of the premise of my campaign is that we, the people, can handle the truth. That is what it means to be American. That is what we fought the American Revolution for. We're not accountable to the government. The government is accountable to us, the people. And I think once the government starts telling the truth again, that's how we revive public trust in this country. Yeah, you talk about FOIA requests. I know you've also been trying to get information on the Trump indictments. He again was indicted for the third time yesterday. And I want to put this up. This is Monica Crowley, Vivek, and I think she had kind of a good take on this. This is from Newsweek, quoting here, apparently the government is criminalizing political speech now, but only in one direction. And they're arresting political opponents, but only on one side. And that about sums it up. I think it does. And I think this sets a dangerous and disastrous precedent, Trace, in a way that goes far beyond just Republican versus Democrat tug of war. If one side can do it today, the other side can do it tomorrow. But we do not want to become a country where the party in power uses police force and the legal system to indict its political opponents in the middle of an election. My basic rule of thumb is pretty simple. If you're going to indict a political opponent in the midst of an election, Mm -hmm. it better darn well not be based on a novel, untested legal theory. Yet that's exactly been the case in all three of the indictments now, which reveals what's going on. This is not about the rule of law. It's about the abandonment of the rule of law to accomplish a political objective. And I say that as somebody for whom it would be much easier if Trump were eliminated from this race. I'm polling at third in the primary now. That's not how I want to win. It should be the old fashioned way. Convince the voters. That's what America was founded on. And we have the proof, by the way, that you are running third. The RCP average put it up on the screen. There he is. Vivek Ramaswamy running at five percent. Congratulations, Vivek. Thank you for coming on. We always appreciate your time. Thank you, Trace.